So we're looking at NMAT preparation and this is starting from September. NMAT notification just out and we know that NMAT is from November 4th to maybe end of January. So let's look at how to go about planning for the NMAT exam. You have ample time to prepare for NMAT even if you start from now. Let's look at how to plan the preparation, go about writing the NMAT examination. Now we have our courses for uh, NMAT, which is, you can look at it patrick100.com, which includes full course, workshops, video course, which is videos on how to solve faster and how to go about preparing for NMAT and, and SNAP, etc. A complete course that is required for SNAP and MAT and test series, which you can get for uh, prep.patrick100.com. Right. Now coming to uh, the whole idea about preparation for the NMAT exam. So NMAT is mainly for Mumbai, Bangalore, Hyderabad, New Mumbai, the NMIMS college. There are more colleges which are there, but let's say these are the four main colleges as far as NM is concerned right now. From that obviously Mumbai is the best, Bangalore is fine, Hyderabad is comparatively new, New Mumbai is comparatively new. But these are the colleges which are there, NM. There is couple of courses, ISB for its business analytic course, they accept NM, SPGN for its PG, MPW, women's course. IBS etc which do accept NM but yes it's not on par with you know, the normal ISB course or the SPGN course it's one of the courses that these colleges run they to take up NMAT as the exam you can write three attempts normally best of three is what is considered as a score you normally have three sections in the examination normally mathematics this is what the pattern is going to be this year that's what they came up mathematics 36 questions logic 36 questions and verbal 36 questions the score for each section will be 12 to 120. Time is different. You could make out that the verbal should be a fast paced exam, 36 questions, 28 minutes. Whereas max could be more of thinking based exam, because 52 minutes, 36 questions. So in that way, they may change the difficult level of the sections. Right? It is sort of good for uh, you know people looking at verbal as more because formerly max had more weightage. Now it is equal weightage for all the three sections. So if you look at NMAT 2019 cons at 48 questions and this was a breakup. This will give you fair idea as to the type of question that normally comes in the con section. So DIA has a good weightage as far as con concerns. 20 questions which is a huge weightage for NMAT. But you have to be careful with DI. There are some sets which are easy but there are some sets which are really tough. And if it's tough it may consume a lot of time. But this will give you fair idea as to the type of question that come in the exam. Arithmetic has a huge weightage which you can look at. Okay. Then you can look at modern max. DI is obviously the most important part of it and be comfortable with data sufficiency. This part doesn't come in the CAT so you can just be comfortable with it. Right. So this is 48 questions. Right now it's gone down to 36 from 40 to 36 but this is a fair pattern and uh, though it may not be exactly the same but maybe the overall pattern could be similar with having DI and max etc. Non-verbal reasoning 24 questions like sequential output, grouping, Venn diagram, coding, family tree, these are all not reasoning questions, logic questions. So input output questions are important. Apart from that, coding, family tree, individual puzzles. So verbal reasoning has 16 questions, which is important, which includes syllogism to strong and weak to conclusion, etc. So 40 questions was there in NMAT 2019. Now it's come down to 36 questions. Right. So this is a pattern that was there, but you can know that these are a the type of question that will come in the exam or likely to come in the exam. Coming to verbal, 32 questions will increase to 36. So luckily for people who are strong at verbal, the weightage for verbal is increased in this year's NMAT paper. So you had reading comprehension, parajumbles, close passage, analogies, etc. Synonym, antonym to both the speed based part, okay, synonym, antonym, analogies, etc. Fill the blanks to the reading comprehension, which is normally takes time. So look at these topics that have come in the exam. Prepare accordingly. I mean, the best way to go about preparing for the exam, which is not known is look at a past pattern and then continue preparing accordingly. So the weightage for RC is comparatively low as compared to if you look at in CAT exam. But among all the areas, RC has a good weightage. Right? Do practice on other areas, which is where you need to try to improve. But yeah, reading normally helps in all areas. Keep reading and do practice verbal exercises to help you in these areas. Schedule how to go about preparing. So ideally, if you're starting now, try to complete the syllabus by mid-October one month's time try to understand the basic fundamentals and try to complete by mid october maybe you can go to almost end october okay possible you can also go to end october mid october to end october but try to keep it for mid october 
complete a syllabus as far as possible. So we have a video course, you can go to a video course for NMAT or any other course that you have for NMAT, take that and try to complete the course. Start with the mock somewhere in the mid-October because if you are writing the mock somewhere in the month of November start, then you require the two weeks time to write the mocks, two to three weeks. So that will mid-October is a good time to start with the mocks. If you're very clear that you want to write mock and your focus is in math, you can start with mocks right now also if you have finished your preparation. If you have not finished, then start complete syllabus in mid-October and then write the mocks from mid-October onwards. So keep that at least three weeks time before the examination to start off mock if your focus is in math. If your focus is not in math, then two weeks is sufficient. Okay, if your focus is scared and not in math, then two weeks before the exam, you can start writing the mocks. So in math, first in math, there are three attempts, right? So in math, first you can write in the first or second week of November, okay, if you're giving three attempts, or first, second week of December, if your focus is CAT. So if your focus is CAT and you say, I don't need to come between CAT and the in math exam, you can write the in math exam now after the CAT exam, right? Which means if 29th November is a CAT, Okay, and you need some time for preparation, then second week of December would be a good time to write. Also, NMAT is similar to SNAP. So automatically that preparation for NMAT and SNAP can go parallel and that could help in both the sections, both the areas. If no, if you're looking at CAT as not a major concern and if you're okay with writing the uh, no, NMAT before the CAT, you feel it's a refreshing change, you can obviously try to give NMAT before the exam the first attempt as such. This is only if you're writing the three attempts. If you're only writing one attempt or two attempts, you can write it around the SNAP examination because the preparation for NMAT and SNAP are similar. So second, maybe somewhere in end of December, specifically if you're writing the NMAT exam in the second week of December, then maybe you can write the NMAT in end of December. If you're writing the NMAT in first week or second week of November, you can write NMAT somewhere in the mid of December close to the SNAP exam. Third attempt could be end of January. So this is a fair way of going. Modify the days because according to what you feel is right and wrong, don't follow it blindly. Try to look at the other exam that come across. So you have the SNAP exam, which is important. You have the CAT exam, which is important. You have the ZAD exam, which is important. Some IFT will also come across, right? See that you can build in your preparation and writing the mocks according to the plan which goes. I've given you a tentative plan because what happens is you have that in January. So you need some days between the end of December and January, like one week at least to prepare for that. Same way after that, you will require some time to prepare for the third attempt for the end match. So you can write it after the 15th of January as such. So keep some gaps so that you can write the mocks and prepare for each section. Courses of NMAT that we have, as I mentioned earlier, we have full course workshop videos, mocks. And this is a website that you can go through for our website, for our courses. Thank you.